Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for coming in and watching today. We have our final episode for the on-site generation, and as you can see, the Lazy River is up and running. This has been a really amazing project. There's over a half million gallons of water on property, and it's being sanitized by our on-site generation system from Aquasol, along with the Aquasol XPC controllers with Wi-Fi. Here you can see we've connected terminals one and two on the dry contact for both power units on the on-site generation systems back to an XPC controller. And so that's actually a, a signal loop where uh, those two dry contacts are jumpered together and then run back to the controller. Here we have the lap pool with the swim up bar. Uh, it's again, a re just really impressive property, great project to have been a part of. In here, it's difficult to see, but of those three terminal blocks in the middle, the middle one with two connections is the J12 terminal block, and that's where we'll be connecting the units to. Here we are adding the salt. I was showing the guys that when you have a lot of salt to add to the pool, I really prefer to just stack the bags either next to the pit or next to the deep end and just slice the very bottom of the bag holding the handle uh, tip them over and uh, hold on to the the old bags as you do so. When you're adding 40 or 50 uh, bags of salt to the pool, you end up with bags just strewn everywhere. So if you're holding on to the, the empty bags as you go, it makes a, it a lot faster to get the salt in. It's also important to remember that a 40-pound bag of salt is going to raise the salinity level of 10,000 gallons of water by 500 parts per million. So that's your formula for how much salt to add. Now it's time to get down to business. Here we're pulling a signal wire through the one of the open BNC glands on the bottom of the XPC controller. Hopefully your controller has come pre-wired with a BNC connection for this. These controllers were shipped directly to the site and so we went ahead and make, made this modification in the field. It's important that if you're making this modification that you can see I've tied an overhand knot in the wire and then pulled it back down into the gland so that it's secure and won't get pulled out of the controller if someone was to you know, pull on the wire or if the wire was to fall down and somebody ended up tripping on it or stepping on it. It's really important <coughs> to be able to see clearly. So if you need a cinder block, you can always find one. <coughs> Once you have the wire installed into the controller, you want to cut it to size and strip back about two-thirds of an inch, a third of an inch to two-thirds of an inch of wire so that you can slide it into the slots on the connector for the terminals. Once you have the wires in place, and it can be difficult to get them in there, but once you get them into place, uh, you simply secure them with a flathead screwdriver and then replace the cover on the XPC. When replacing the cover on the XPC, take a lot of care to make sure that the gasket that is on that cover is in place. That's what's going to keep any chemicals or moisture from getting into the controller. It's also helpful if you don't drop the screws on the ground. So here's a view of the pump room. You saw our controller, with the Stenner pumps. Here's their pumps for moving the half million gallons of water on property and operating all of those spray features and slides that we're about to see. There on the bottom right, you can see the Clear Comfort 300 AOP system, which is producing hydroxyl free radicals for secondary sanitation on the kiddie pool, which has spray features and splash features. Um, and so we're really excited about our partnership with Clear Comfort there because they're also very dedicated to providing safe recreational water. Once you have the salt systems hooked up and the D2 function uh, wired in, it's time to 
set it up in the menus. So after entering menu two, you're going to want to scroll down. And here I'm going to pause for a second and uh, set the volume on the Lazy River. This controller is for the Lazy River. Uh, but I'm going to set up the volume for the pool. Now this isn't necessary, but if the customer was to, in the future, want to set up backwash alerts uh, and use a totalizer with a, a, a rotary flow meter, this would allow them to get uh, alerts about their flow rate uh, and provide some information on their turnover rate. So uh, as we continue scrolling down, I scrolled just a little bit too slowly uh, here for comfortable uh, narration, but I found that when I sped it up, it was even worse. So we found D2. I've selected it. I'm going to turn the knob down uh, counterclockwise once to select it and then exit out. And then I will save this setting before exiting. And now that we have D2 activated, we're going to go to our ORP set points and set the millivolt set point on D2. And this is going to uh, be set higher than our millivolt setting for the, the backup sanitizer. Uh, we want this one to come on first and to maintain our, norm, our regular sanitizer residual. And then if for some reason there is an you know, increase in sanitizer demand and the, the salt system is having trouble keeping up, then D1 would allow our backup sanitizer, the sodium hypochlorite or commercial bleach to take uh, kick in and help catch up. So here we see the, the plumbing's done. Uh, all of our systems are installed and they've come back in and, and painted the plumbing for the filters. So we see the brick red color is the waste lines. The green is the filter influent lines coming from the pumps. And then the blue is the return lines or the filter effluent lines. Uh, so the water that's returning back to the pool. It's so really been a cool project to be a part of. There's uh, just a lot going on on this site. It's pretty amazing. And it was, uh, you know, great to see it all come together and see these systems come in. So here's one final shot, the splash pool, what everybody's been waiting for. Uh, there's... Uh, just so much going on here with the slides and spray features. It's been uh, just a wonderful project. You know, I'm really excited about us being able to put, you know, the AOP out on site, the on-site generation there, the XPCs with Wi-Fi communication. Uh, they're ready to go.